Hello everyone, welcome to the Morwen Book Club. Today we're going to be reading The Pilgrim's Path. Let's begin. The Pilgrim's Path. The Pilgrim must visit each of the Shrines of the Seven Graces. At each site, the Pilgrim must stand before the three-sided stone uh, Trialith, Trialith? Trialith, and read the inscription. To ease the Pilgrim's task, the Temple has made this list of shrines along with directions and advice to Pilgrims. The blessings of each shrine last at least half a day. The Fields of Kumu, Shrine of Humility. Here Lord Vivek met a poor farmer whose guar had died. The farmer could not harvest his muck without his guar, and he could not provide for his family or his village. So the Lord Vivek removed his fine clothes and toiled in the fields like a beast of burden until the crop was harvested. It is, it is at the Fields of Kumu where we go to pray for the same humility Lord Vivek showed on that day. The fields of Kumu are west of Sur uh, Suran, on the north si uh, shore of Lake Amaya, as you head towards P uh, Pelagian. Uh, the shrine is between two rocks, and most easily noticed while traveling east along the road. Alof's farm nearby has a small dock on the north bank of Lake Amaya. This is the only dock nearby which Alof kindly allows servants of the temple to use. It is customary to leave a portion of muck at the shrine to represent Vivek's Humility. To stop the moon, the Shrine of Daring. When Shirgarath rebelled against the tribunal, he tricked the moon, Bar Dao, into forsaking its appointed path through oblivion. Through oblivion. The mad star inspired the moon to hurl itself upon Vivek's new city, which Shirgarath claimed was built in mockery of the heavens. When Vivek learned of Shirgarath's scheme, he froze the rogue moon in the sky with a single gesture and the grace of his countenance. Overwhelmed by the courage and daring of Vivek, the moon, Bar Dao, swore itself to eternal service of the tribunal and all its works. Thus the moon now stands guard over the palace and serves as the citadel for the temple's ordinators. The shrine, that's, that's actually uh, an interesting take on the, um, uh, the, uh, the moon or the, the big the big rocks, big stone, the meteor uh, above Vivek. I feel like there's a bit of a, um, a coloring in this uh, telling, though. It's uh, a little bit of a, um, I don't know. They, they, it's like they've, they've, they've tried to, to humanize it or like anthropomorph anthropomorphize the moon where they're like, it now stands guard over the palace. Uh, it's like, it's a rock, people. It, it, it's just a rock. A rock that people uh, hollowed out. Like, just let's, let's be honest here. The Shrine of Daring is found in the city of Vivek in the Temple District along the western wall of the High Fane, the Great Temple of Vardenfell. When you address the Shrine, it is customary to leave behind a potion of rising force. Suitable potions may be purchased from the Temple. Homemade potions are not acceptable. Of course they're not! Because you can't make money off that! The Palace. Shrine of Generosity. Long after Lord Nerevar and the Tribunal triumphed over Dagoth Ur, the people wished to build a monument to the heroes of that war. Vivek thanked them, but said that it would be better to dedicate a monument not only to the glorious heroes, but to all people, great and small, who suffered and died in the war. It became the custom to make offerings here, either in thanks of our good fortune or for those less fortunate. The Shrine of Generosity is on the top steps of Vivek's palace, the southernmost canton of Vivek City. The customary donation for those in good fortune is 100 gold. The Puzzle Canal, the Shrine of Cur uh, Courtesy. In a battle with Mehrun's Dagon, Vivek gave his own silver longsword to the Daedric Lord rather than dishonor himself by fighting an unarmed foe. This so impressed the Dremora, the, the most honorable and chivalrous of Mehrun's Dagon's Daedric servants, that they now share a bond of respect and courtesy with the followers of the Tribunal, though we must never forget that they are our enemies. The Shrine of Courtesy is found in the heart of the Puzzle Canal, a labyrinth beneath Lord Vivek's palace in the city of Vivek. The journey through the Puzzle Canal can be confusing, and it is suggested that common pilgrims carry a scroll of Almzivi Al intervention in case they get lost. The Dremora, a uh, Krazd, is found in the center of the Puzzle Canal and will accept a plain silver longsword, is spoken to with courtesy. Now, we've been down there, haven't we? We might have, we might, we might have actually killed it. Aww. I'll have to see if we've killed uh, Krasd. And if we have, 
I, I, maybe we'll bring a, a silver longsword and put it on his dead body if it hasn't despawned yet, which it probably has. Anyways. After Krasith accepts the sword, pilgrims must read the inscription on the Triolith. On the Triolith, okay. The Mask of Vivek, the Shrine of Justice. Near the altar is Vivek's Ash Mask. In the days of fire, when Dagother first crept back into Red Mountain and awakened it, Vivek led uh, refugees here as they uh, fled the ash and blight. Weary, they rested here a while. When Vivek awoke, he found himself and all his followers encased in casts of grey ash. Frozen like a sleeping statue and unable to free himself or help his people, Vivek was filled with despair. Vivek's tears weakened his ash cast. He tore the ash from his perished followers, breathed life into their lungs, and cured them of the blight. This is Vivek's heroism. His tender heart provides strength when his might fails. The Shrine of Justice is guarded within the Gnissus Temple in the village of Gnissus. Okay, yeah, we've been there. Uh, northwest by road from the town of Aldrun. When you address the shrine, it is customary to leave a potion of cure common disease as a token of your respect for justice. Suitable potions may be purchased from the temple. Homemade potions are not acceptable. Of course not! Um, Coal Cave, the Shrine of Valor. Within the Coal Cave, Vivek fought a battle with Ruddy Man, the father of the Dro. When he defeated Ruddy Man, Vivek spared his life on the condition that Ruddy Man and his children would give up their uh, tough hides to serve as armor for the Dunmer. The Shrine of Valor is inside the Coal Cave, a cavern on the seacoast west of the ancient stronghold uh, Barandas and south of Nissus. The cave mouth faces south toward the sea and is marked by a large natural arch of stone. The region is wilderness and finding the cave mouth can be difficult. Drew within the cave itself are fearsome enemies, only experienced and capable adventurers should attempt to reenact the epic battle with the Drew in the cave. Drew Axe may be bought at the temple in Gnesis. When you address the shrine, it is customary to leave a portion of Drew Axe as a token of Vivek's victorious struggle with Ruddy Man. The Ghost Fence, the Shrine of Pride. The Ghost Fence is a lasting symbol of the indomitable will and power of Amzivi, and a monument to Dunmer pride in overcoming its enemies. The Shrine of Pride is found within the Ghost Fence, just northeast of the Ghost Gate itself. The safest route to Ghost Gate is along the Fayada um, Mamea, a volcanic ravine running from the top of Red Mountain southwest to its end just below Balmora. An old Dwemer bridge crosses the Fayada near uh, Fort Moonmoth. A pilgrim may follow the Fayada uh, Mamea all the way to Ghost Gate. Any journey inside the ghost fence is dangerous, but even the most timid pilgrim should be safe so long as uh, he does not stray too far from the ghost gate and flees from any minions of Dagoth Ur. When you address the shrine, it is customary to leave a soul gem in remembrance of our ancestors who, who were bound to the tribunal's service. Uh, I, I have a feel- I feel like this here is a, a book that would be a, a guide to maybe one of the temple quests. Uh, like, um... I'm, I'm guessing that you might have to actually do um, a pilgrimage at some point if, when doing the uh, the temple's quests. Uh, maybe sometime, maybe at some time we'll do uh, the temple quests. I'm not sure. Uh, originally, I planned on it, but I don't know. I don't know if we'll do the temple quests. We'll we'll see what viewer demand is. And speaking of viewer demand, if you liked what we I got he going on here, you like the the books and stuff, go ahead and give it a thumbs up. Uh, if you didn't, leave it a thumbs down. Um, either way, let me know what you thought. Have you done the temple uh, quest line? And would you recommend me doing it? Tell me. Comment section. Yeah, do it. Uh, and uh, until next time, I would like to ask you all to uh, game on.